Um, uh, hey guys, how's it going? Hey, happy Sunday morning. Welcome to a brand new month. What month is it? January, February, March, April, May. It's May. It is May. And you know what that means? There's lots of things. It means May flowers, April shopping. May flowers. I love the flowers. It also means a brand new theme for the month. And this month, it is commitment. Can you guys say commitment? Do you know what commitment is? Have any of you guys ever committed to something? Let me ask you, do you have to commit to things that are easy? Do you have to commit to eating ice cream? Like this month I commit to eating lots and lots of ice cream. No, 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 no. Normally you have to commit to things that aren't easy, that take a lot of planning and preparation. And that's exactly what our definition for commitment means. Commitment is making a plan and putting it into practice. I was just practicing for the Funny Voice Olympics. I'm still working and practicing. Have you guys ever heard of the Funny Voice Olympics? I haven't either. But if it comes, I'm gonna be ready and I'm committed to being ready. Hey, let's try it right now. We have a memory verse this month and I want you to say it with me in your best funny voice. All right. I'm going to try it. It may be kind of hard to hear. The words will show up on the screen right here or here or both of the spots or all over the place. I don't know. Here it is. Ready? It's from 1 Timothy 4.8 and it goes. <laughs> here we go. That's a hard word. <clears throat> That's hard. I don't know how well I'll do with the Funny Voice Olympics, but I'm committed to finding out. So we better get into our story and I'll see you back here in a little bit. Goodbye. Woo! What a beautiful morning. Hey guys. Hey, Nate the Logger was out enjoying just, you know, overcast, cloudy, a little rain. What a beautiful, rainy northwest morning at the beach. Hey, look, there's Jerry. <laughs> Man, what in the world is he doing out here? It's raining? He's out, he's out working hard. Check that guy out. Woo! Look at, let's go see what he's up to. Hey Jerry, good morning. Man, what are you doing out here? Don't you know it's raining? Why are you running so fast, Jerry? What's up? Oh, hey Nate, good morning. Oh man, I'm out here training. Oh, it's awesome. Don't you just feel alive when you're out here training? I love it. How are you this morning, Nate? Man, I'm doing great, but uh, wh why are you working so hard? What are you doing out here? Nate, I'm getting ready for the big race. It's coming up next week and I gotta work hard. See, I was reading in that Bible that you and I've been reading together from 1 Corinthians and it talked about how all of the runners who run in a race, they run to get the prize. And then Paul said the line that inspired me to enter this race. He said, run in a way to get the prize. And I thought, yes. I'm gonna run in a way. I don't care if it's a torrential downpour. I don't care. Guess what, Nate? I didn't eat any donuts this morning before I got here. In fact, last night they were having cake and I only had a little piece of cake because I want to run in a way to win the prize, just like the Bible talks about, just like Paul talks about in 1 Corinthians. So I'm out here running. I'm training. I made a plan. I said, I'm gonna win this race. I'm gonna give everything I got. And it's coming up next week. So I've been, you know, out running in the rain every morning. I've been having only little pieces of cake when people have cake. I haven't been eating any donuts. I've been giving everything because I want to run in a way to win 
that prize. Well, Jerry, that's awesome. I'm so glad that you're out here running. This is really cool. You're training hard, you're working hard. This is such a cool thing. I'm so glad that you've been reading the Word of God. Oh yeah, Nate. It's been so cool to do this. In fact, oh, oh wait, hey, just a second. There's somebody out here. They're on my, they're on my, uh, they're getting in my way. They're on my running path. Let me go get it. I'll be right back, Nate. Just a second. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Hey, 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 this is my beach. Get out there. Get. Shoot, 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 shoot. Whew. Whew. Who do those people think they are coming on my beach? This is where I run. I, there's signs out there that says, this is Jerry's beach. Stay off the beach. Whew. I don't know who these people think they are. Man, yeah, Nate, so I'm running hard. I'm getting ready for the big race. Boom. Oh, Jerry, man, that's really awesome. You're talking about 1 Corinthians 9, 24 and 25, aren't you? Boy, if I can remember it right, it goes like this. In a race, all the runners run, but only one gets the prize. You know that, don't you? So run in a way that will get the prize. And then it goes on to verse 25. It says, all who take part in the games train hard. They do it to get a crown that will not last. But then Jerry, remember that part you read? But we do it to get a crown that will last forever. That's right, Nate. That's why I'm out here working hard because I want that crown, the crown that will last forever. Jerry, that's so cool. But uh, you know what? I, I wonder, Jerry, did you read the whole area around that verse or did you just read that verse? Because, you know, I noticed earlier somebody was walking on your beach and you kind of got upset with them. And well, do you know what that verse is talking about? Well, yeah, it's talking about running in races and going really fast and training and giving up everything so that you can win the prize. That's what it's about, Nate. Yeah, but, uh, but, but Jerry, Paul, <laughs> he's, he's talking all about how because of what Jesus already did for him, he can give up all of his rights for the sake of the gospel. You see, Jesus already bought us the crown. He already won the prize and now he tells us to go out to live the gospel message out and share it with other people so that they can know the crown and, and know the prize and go for it. He said, Paul said he's willing to give up anything. You know, earlier, Jerry, when those people were walking on your beach and you went over and got mad at them, you were kind of doing the opposite. You were only thinking about your rights and, and running that race next week, but Jesus already won the race for you so that you could love people. It's like what uh, Jesus talks about over in Matthew 22, verse 37 through 39. He says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and all your might. Love him with all your mind. This is the first and most important commandment. And the second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. Because Jesus already won the prize for us. He wants us to love God and then love people. Rather than telling those people to get off your beach, you could say, good morning, how are you? You could love them, you could wait for them, or maybe you could even move to a different beach. That's what it's called to run after the prize that Jesus has already gotten for us. You can give up your rights so that you can love people and show them the crown that you've already been given, that Jesus loves them. And that's what the gospel's all about, and that's what it's, Paul's talking about in that passage. So Jerry, I hope you can keep training and do really well in this race. But the next time somebody jumps on your beach, man, maybe that's the opportunity God's been saving up for you to love them and to show them the gospel. And maybe one day they'll run in the race with you. And together you guys can get the crown that only Jesus has gotten for us. Isn't that really awesome? Whoa. Nate, you're saying I missed the whole point of that verse? Like, when he says to run real fast, to work, do all this stuff, it's because Jesus already loves me and got me the crown? And man, I can see I did blow it with those people. Well, I hope they come back by here in a little bit. Maybe I can find a way to love them and share with them and get in the race with them. Wow, Nate, that's gonna make me uh, train in a different way, but I better get back to it. Uh, I'll see you, Nate. Yeah, I still got a race to run next week. I hope you're there. You gonna come watch? 
Cool, let's see ya. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. I can't wait for the big race next week. Well, I hope this week that you will learn about commitment, about making a plan and putting into practice, and how cool that you also get to commit to the most important thing of all, and that is growing in your relationship with Jesus Christ, which means loving God and loving others. I hope we can all grow together and build deep roots through God's word called Rizzooing Together. So I want to pray, and then I'll look forward to seeing you next week. All right, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for the commitment, the love, the care that you poured out into each one of us and each one of our children. Lord, show us how we can commit to growing in our walk with you, loving you and loving others. Father, teach us how to do that. We look forward to growing deep, deep roots that no matter what happens this coming week, we can stay close to you. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, guys. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. All right, we'll try this again. Don't know what that one's called. <laughs> Well, this is hard. This is really hard. I got this. I got this. What a beautiful morning. Father, we trust this to you. And if people walk by, that's cool. All right, this is not going to be quite as easy as I hoped. That's all right, it never is. Good morning. Doing a little video here. So. <laughs> all right, that's awesome. Just had our first people. Okay. We're having fun now. Stay, stay, stay. Stay, stay, stay. No, didn't want to stay there either. No, that is not going to work at all, unfortunately. We're six minutes in. Come on, Mark. This is the easy part. We haven't got to the hard part yet. Uh-oh. There it is again. The magic phone ring. All right. 